We're live, by the way. So this is good right here, right? Yeah, we're good. I hear you real nice. That's nice crystal clear. You, you got to get closer to the mic, really? though. Yeah, See, that's, that's what I'm saying. All right, I got to sit you gotta up. Be, like, don't you gotta touch be my feet. It. Don't touch my feet. You got to be on it. We will fight. I'm not going to touch your ugly fucking toes, bro. All right, ready? Intro, ready? Watch this shit. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Ruben is gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to the Chicken and Rice podcast. We're here with the Blonde Swan. Ruben and Ali Star, aka Mr. Optimal. Today we have a new guest. We got Ruben. What's your last name again? Mazda. Mazda. Like a Mazda. <laughs> no, without the D, with two Z's. Two oh. Z's. That's far. I have to spell it sometimes because people think that like there's a D if I say it too fast. And I'm like, fuck. Shit. The Mazda. Yeah. And you don't drive a Mazda. No, I'll yeah. never drive a Mazda for that reason. All right, so Ruben. <laughs> Ruben's new, so we're gonna ask him a bunch of shit. Okay. That yes. he is it gonna be serious questions or we're we gonna? No. <laughs> Bro, stop being so serious. Oh, you got you got your phone out like you have a list of questions you're going to ask. Why me. Serious? <laughs> serious? I'm looking at TikToks right now, bro. Oh, right. say, this motherfucker goes on his phone every podcast. I'm sitting there like talking into his soul. He's sitting here like, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I have the attention span of a goldfish, dog. Literally. My ADHD is up here. All right, so what do you do for a living, Ruben? I am an online nutrition coach uh, full time as of moving down here like in February. That's so, far. Yeah. Pretty, just yeah. give us the basics, like the basics, of age, like where you're okay. from. Like, I'm um, originally it, from uh, Queens, New York, Astoria, Queens. Grew up in New York and then moved up to the Hudson Valley. I'm um, 28. I have a dog named Phoebe. She's Australian Shepherd. She's my pride and joy. Far. <laughs> um, what else? What else do you want to know? Like, you know, my social. Security number, just like <laughs> you know, the ba- basic shit. Yes, basic bro. Shit. Driver's license, social security number, everything, bro. Gotcha. And Please. now you live here. Yeah. Right? So my girlfriend got a job uh, with a trucking logistics company, and then uh, I was like, Shh, "Fuck it, like I can go online." Uh, so I did, and she, we moved down here. I'm staying at my parents' place. We're gonna look into a place in Greenville eventually when we can afford a house. But uh, we're just kind of chilling here until. Uh, Till that happens. That's far. So it's pretty good. Yeah, people think like you can't do online shit, but everything's moving online. Like you can work <laughs> from anywhere if you do shit online. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty tough because you have to create a presence, and like uh, you have to know exactly what you're trying to accomplish. Like you have your stuff, and yeah, and then there's my content, which is like completely different. Like it's not like as it um, like it's more like for like to get clients to work with. Right. And uh, so, like, there is that entertainment value, but it's also like bringing other value to, like, hey, work with me. So, there's like those two aspects that, like, I have. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I mean, you got to think about the end goal. So, like, with your content, your end goal is to get clients. Mine yeah. is to, like, inspire, entertain. And then, like, you know, I have the sponsorships. So, right. like, getting people to use my codes and shit. But, Coaching isn't like a big, big thing for me. Yeah. Oh, in the future, of course, but we're not right now. I mean, I'm not the focus. Speaking of codes, code chicken for Young Law and code chicken for uh, Echo Vision. Tell them all, all of it, bro. And all and of it. Code chicken for uh, performance, or not code chicken, code A list <laughs> for performance subs for me because we did not do the intro this time again. Very true. Uh, yeah, all the sponsors, Young LA. Hila Mix, forgot that one. Oh fuck. Hila Mix, Young Law, and Echo Vision. And my Amazon list and chicken and rice clothing. I got the cutoff on right now. Moving that out the way. Make sure. You know what I'm saying? I got the Young Law on the cup and the Hila Mix sticker. Uh code Swan on <laughs> all of your uh your lake necessities when you're going <laughs> to the lake. <laughs> yes, That's sir. fucking funny. <laughs> Hit the lake, boy. And code code Mazda. Pond. Code Mazda on... Uh, I don't have a code, and I just have... <laughs> ca- <laughs> <laughs> code A-list for performance supplements, not code chicken. There you go. Fucking idiot. <laughs> code chicken on everything, baby. Let's go. Yeah, all the links are in the bio, in the description, but... Yeah, let's talk about some juicy shit. So, like... You do, you know, coaching for a living. Yeah. Do you do in person as well, online? How's that so go? So I used to do in person and then obviously moving down here, like I had to go full full time online because I don't have access to uh, or I don't work at a gym in person. Plus I, I, 
I've done, I did in person for like six, seven years, and that I, I find more value, or I don't know, you can get more clients and get more work done working online with people than you can in person. I mean, you could work a lot on in person, but then like forty hours on the floor is like exhausting. Yeah, like so, like everything's moving online, like you said, like content. Like that was the biggest thing Alistair probably said was like you got to put your shit on everything now, just because that's the way of that's the way it goes. And like people sit here, like I was one of those people that was like, oh, I'm not going to go online. I'm not going to be one of those people. I can generate income or generate clients by just word of mouth and in reality like that's not how things go anymore you know it's having an online presence if you are online only right so that's what's your like, what's your take on it like what do you like like i don't know how like what i'm trying so to ask but i was going to ask him about his like personal goals if sure. that's, is that kind of what you're asking yeah about? yeah like yeah. nutrition wise me, me personally yeah like what? so like my goal is just to kind of like i um just I think it all stems from longevity. I want to ha- live the longest, healthiest life possible while also still achieving, like, those little goals of, like, looking really good, performing really good, yeah. right, in the gym sure. and stuff. So. That's dope. How do you feel about artificial sweeteners? Fine. I drink a Diet Coke almost every couple of days. That's good shit. Why? Because usually the longevity people are like, artificial sweeteners, no. That's because... <laughs> Red meat and fruit the only. Pro- <laughs> the, the biggest problem with that <sighs> shit is because... Everyone's trying to recreate the fucking wheel and trying to fear monger and trying to sound different when really like it's f- like uh, artificial sweeteners is like there's no fucking we can go back to evidence and all this science shit. And now Al-, Al can like attest to this. Like there's no study that's shown that artificial sweeteners are bad for you. Right. Lay and out. like their studies are all shown in mice, too. In such high doses and shit like that. So it's just like they, they, they become they have a conclusion where it's like. It's it, it almost inconclusive for like uh, the effects on humans. Yeah. Right. So like you can have it. Like it's fine. The influencers or whoever online like fucking preaches that shit. Go fuck yourselves. Cause like I also think a lot of people compare shit to like our ancestors. Yeah. Like in terms of like they used to hunt and gather and men used to be this and that and it's like shit's not the same as yeah. it was everything is different. when we were fucking eating rocks right and shit <laughs> eating rocks <laughs> <laughs> i still eat rocks we're bro. making making fires with fucking rocks yeah. in wood you know yeah the quality of food has gone down definitely but like you could still like food food's changed because of the access to it or we need more access to it because there's more people i guess you could say no, but like there's so like, many other it's like the fucking jackass who said that i'm not mr optimal for Promoting vitamins. Oh, the sun, the tan your balls, dude. Dude, like bioavailability is a thing. So, like, how many people honestly have access to liver? Right. Very easily, yeah. like, could go to a butcher and go get liver, mm-hmm. even though it's healthy. Not, not many. It's at Walmart. I ate it one time. For real? It tastes like it's sand, at Walmart? though. It's yeah. at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Do, you, do you have it cooked or raw? <laughs> no, I had it cooked. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like sand. It's pretty it's like it's a fucking <laughs> nasty. My <laughs> grandmother used to make me eat liver worst. Yeah, that's and that's disgusting. Really gross. It's fucking nasty. Yeah. yeah, but again, it's like, so what is like what is bad about taking a vitamin to get your micronutrients versus eating the liver? If I don't fucking like liver, yeah, nothing. Exactly. Yeah. So the people that the argument have, well, it's like, well, you must eat liver. It's like liver king. It's like you must eat liver. Well, it's like okay. Well, why can't I just take a fucking vitamin? Well, that's the funny thing. He fucking sells vitamins, vitamins that are like freeze dried liver. He's promoting. He's just big one big walking billboard. Good for him, man. He's selling his. He makes he's fucking making fucking millions. I already off makes of it. millions a month yeah. off of that shit. And he's smart. No, he does. Is, he's smart as shit because he's capitalizing on people's stupidity. Yeah. And that's shitty too, though. At the same, no, time. it's because almost like ninety percent of the population does not think for themselves anymore. Yeah, one hundred percent. They take things at face value the second that they hear an ad or they hear somebody's Instagram post yeah. and they roll with that. Yep. Everybody's knowledge basically nowadays is pseudo knowledge. It's just what they heard from the previous smart person that was fucking talking. Yeah. In my in most cases, people that I talk to. Yeah. I mean everything has a it's all somewhat if you look into it, it's somewhat valid. Like if you look at his fucking nine principles or whatever the fucking they're, shit, they're good. they're good. But then it just goes, then he goes too deep, and it's like, all right, chill for a fucking second. 
You don't need to eat raw liver. Like raw, like wiring right. Ethernet cables through his fucking house and shit like that. It's like, dude. Yeah. There's I, so much like radio cell service and shit from satellites and everything. It's like, dude, do you think running Ethernet cables through your fucking house is going to save you from whatever damage it might be doing to your even, body? I never even heard of that. So. Dude, he has like, he'll go to hotels and like run Ethernet cables into his fucking like devices so he doesn't have to have like like wi-fi yeah oh, okay. so the signals can't saying. like mess with him and his serenity <laughs> it's like bro holy fuck like, that's crazy just use the tam wi-fi bro I heard he <laughs> so doesn't he sleep on like a piece of wood yeah he does that's <laughs> yeah, so there's no shot. His wife sleep on there's no shot yeah, he same actually thing. They have a plank it, bed i've seen the pay dude apparently so i mean yeah but you you really think you every think night they'd be he's fucking on that that's great. His that kids, sounds like a great time. Kids here, There's no shot wood. every boom, single boom, night. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Someone making a house? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, dude, like he accidentally on. kills his wife. He's fucking her too hard and her head hits the plank. Just fucking, <laughs> boom. She's dead. Oh, my God. Ooh, Calls the police. One. Dude, I was fucking my wife real good and she died. I'm sorry. That one's zero to 100. I said making a house. He'd, He'd probably try to get her liver. He'd probably, <laughs> He'd probably try to get her liver. liver. He'd probably try to get her liver or something. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We don't need we don't need no sound effects right now. You never know. We need the, I think there's a this one with the cricket. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, shit, man! I should have done a story I, post to ask. How do you feel about Andrew Tate? Oh fuck! Honestly, dude, I used to hate him, and then I saw his last <laughs> little message, his final like peace out message, and I was like, honestly, he deuced out. Dude, they, he, when they canceled him, he, bro, he's a mastermind. Bro, no, honestly, like, dude, he's no. not that bad of a guy. If you no. watch the final thing, I was like, dang, no. You guys don't know. You his thought background? he was a bad guy. Time out. You guys don't know about his background in Romania and all that shit. The prostitution or whatever. No, he got yeah, but it was more like uh, human sex trafficking charges. Like he's in, in jail. He went to no, jail for he that. He got charged for that. He got charged. How do you for not go to shit? jail? Because he got, I don't know, I dude, I, again, I didn't look into it. Also, I don't give a fuck. Like, was it fuck from his, was it from the webcam shit? What do you mean? Because I know he, he like hired webcam girls and he like took like, I don't know what percentage, I but think, like. Yeah, I think so. That's how he got started with making like millions. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's It crazy. could be that, but at the same time, that's not really, I wouldn't consider that like sex trafficking if they agreed to do it. It was like a. Uh, no, 100%. They agreed yeah, to do yeah, it. Unless yeah, unless it was contractual, but I think like in the laws there, it was weird. That I is smart know. as fuck, though. Like, imagine like you. I mean, nowadays people do like they manage the OnlyFans girls and oh shit. My God. And so he's not a thing them. anymore, though. No, oh he God, is. Man. He's on Rumble. But he just can't be on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. See, dude, I I don't get that, bro. Like, I don't understand the liberals that. Run the, it's the liberals run the world, run the world, bro. But they dude. all collectively get together and they're like, "All right, let's cancel this guy because we don't like that." Even if his what he says can be outlandish, if it makes people think for themselves, yeah, then it's harder to control people and it's harder to tell people what to do. AKA, put a fucking mask on without thinking about it. Yeah, right. So if if you could just cancel people that allow people to think freely or think against what's the popular like societal way of thinking, then it's a lot easier yeah. to tell everybody what the fuck to do. It's just his influence is just so like got to the point where it's so powerful that they just don't like that. It's basically why yeah, he got he, banned. He was against the green. Yeah, but still he should still be able to say what he wants. Even no, if you don't agree with him. It's yeah. the same thing they have Donald Trump banned from Twitter, dude. You know, so but it's like these, these social media sucks. platforms can do like whatever the fuck they want. Because no, but like, it, technically speaking, that's pre that's like in, because it's putting like fractions and fractions on our freedom of speech. Yeah, which is not what our fucking. Well, I'm saying about. like when you sign up for like that app, like you, they can basically do whatever they want with your account because it's under their app. Is right. what I'm saying. That's true. It's like when you go to school and everybody's like, oh, these. Oh, at least me. But that's the at whole point. At least me <laughs> when I went to but, school. I won't but, speak for everybody. At least me when I went to school, there I used to be like, these lockdowns are so illegal. Like, how can they search me? And it's yeah. like at the beginning of the year, you sign your rights yeah. away to be on the school grounds. When you're basically. on the grounds. Yeah. So I guess you basically sign your rights away yeah. when you get on the app and you start posting your content. They're basically like, okay, you're at the the will of the network because you're giving them permission to make money off of your content essentially yeah right so basically that's pretty much they it. get to do it that's what i'm saying like i could wake up tomorrow tiktok account gone like i've known multiple fitness influencers that get their account taken away just out of nowhere 
What would you do? And that's crazy. What would I do? Yeah. I'd start over and just no, what if continue you were, what doing if you were, it. What if you were banned? Like completely? Yeah. What, what on would, TikTok, Instagram? Yep. Like Andrew Tate status. <laughs> That'd be tough, to right? be honest. It is It is something I think about a lot. That would mean he'd but be doing sucks, something right, bro. though. No, it'd mean you'd be that doing sucks. something no, right. Let's just, say, let's just say it fucking didn't exist anymore. Let's say like everyone got fucked. Right, you got fucked. Like my my shit got fucked. Like everyone, the Do- whole door everything door just door, door salesman of selling what? Selling my fucking chicken, chicken and rice. rice, chicken and rice, bro. Chicken Your and rice. fitness, chicken and rice, I'm for, I'm delicious. Go working on my fitness. Watching. That would I be selling, bro? I'd be chicken and rice going to the moon regardless. Yeah. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I mean, dude, what would I do? I'd go train people in a gym. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd do the same thing. Because <laughs> if you think about it, if it was if it was over just for me. It'd be different, but if it was oh, over yeah. for if it was over for everybody, then everybody would be out doing more shit. Then there, it would be yeah, a different. Yeah. It would and everyone's be, fucked. Like imagine the fucking internet was just gone. That'd be wild as fuck. No fat for real. Motherfuckers would go crazy. I think people <laughs> would go crazy though. I think it'd be like <laughs> fucking anarchy. It would. That would be. An, it'd be yeah, some crazy bitch that makes no like three hundred k. Meat, bro, I'd be pissed as <laughs> fuck. Yo, for real. Be walking around angry. What are you talking about? <laughs> no internet, no fat, bro. What? Yeah, he wouldn't be able to beat his meat. S- Motherfucker, we were in the airport. You looked at me. You said, that girl looks like a Bella Danger. And I said, yeah, she's bad. You said, how do you know who that is? I said, how do you know who that is? <laughs> <laughs> Don't play me, bro. Wait, Don't play me. Uh, was it? Wait, who was it? No, it was know. not a Bella oh, Danger. Okay. And you know who she is, too. Yeah, of course I do. Do you know who this Why the is? fuck am I hiding this? Yeah. Mason, don't lie, bro. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> the fuck? Mason thought about it. He goes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that'd be crazy. I would like, imagine just no I would internet. walk right up to her and be like, hey, you are so hot. I love you. Just want to let you know that. Have a great day. No. And hopefully something would happen. Nah, you would say something. I would just say. No, I would just be like, "No, I wouldn't, dude." What are you saying? Are we are we making it here? Are we going back home? Where are we? Are you a sinker or a stall girl? girl? Happening? <laughs> are you a sinker or a stall girl? The bathroom's right here. <laughs> where are we making this video at? Let's do. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna get canceled now. You're fine. done. Yeah, that's fine. You're Tomorrow done. I'm gonna wake up and my shit's gonna be gone. Banned. That's crazy, bro. Nah, but Swan, what are you doing? If you wake up tomorrow, internet is gone. What's the first thing you're doing? I'm probably, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm probably just going to be going out in the forest or something, bro. The, to the lake? <laughs> yeah, Spending somewhere. Time on the lake. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere there's water, bro. I'm going to the fucking gym. <laughs> I'm there's going Liver King status, bro. Going I'm going, gym. I'm going to be living on wood and I'm going to be, I don't even know, bro. Something like that. Pause. Living on wood? Oh, yeah. damn Whoa. it. I waited for bro, that. Why? <laughs> why? Why? Jeez, I bro. Knew it. I knew you were gay. Ruben, what are you doing? I think it would be cool, dude, to be like a what hunter gatherer. You do? Yeah, bro. That would be suck. sick. Dude, just to be able to like walk I could live like an Indian go. for like a week. And then I'd be like, all right, <laughs> I'm done with this. Bro, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you, you're going to be like, able to meet so many people and so many creatures. Yes, yeah, because so many people do that now. <laughs> so many, many creatures. When I was like Just slow. build a fucking tiny home, dog. Shit. <laughs> Yo, tiny home. But like mobile tiny home. Elon's making those, yeah. bro. You see really? He's got no, like $50,000 like 50, tiny houses. What? Really? Yeah. This By man Tesla? thinks of everything, bro. He's smart, bro. He's so bro. fucking smart. He's out of this, like, literally out Damn. of this world. But he's very hardworking, too. Like, he fucking does everything. What if we're all in a video game and he's just absolutely obliterating the shit out of us right now? What does that mean? He Like, we're in last place and he's in first place. So what? Elon's him. What's what's first place get you? Bitches. I don't know. For, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not nah, when I was uh when I was fucking probably like ten, we would go in the woods and play survival. We yes, would call it. bro. So did I. We would we would go in the woods and pretend like we would be in there for hours. Oh, we 100%. had to build the shelter. We had to we had to get the food, make a fire, everything. <laughs> Holy shit! In you the went, woods you went, for you went hard. hours, bro. I never went that hard. Fucking trying to build like a fucking fort and shit with a bunch of wood. We, all we had was like an axe. And maybe like a soul, and we just go crazy. <laughs> I was, That's less. I was, honestly, sadly, I started doing bad shit around 10, 11 years old. So, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's how you get kidnapped or just fucking. I was GTA. By a bear? I was GTA in golf carts out the neighborhood when I was like ten. Yeah, well, I mean you have because ex- every golf cart key is the same. So yeah. I, I figured that out, and I was like. <laughs> 
I love golf carts. I'm just going to ride everybody's. Yeah, me too. I was like, I'm just going to ride everybody's Bro, golf cart. Dude, I remember. Dude, hold on. Like, you just had like a normal golf cart, like where you had like the top. Like, it was just like a golf, like a club a car. club car. Yeah. There's easy going. Bro, we, used to club throw, we used to get people to get on top of it and like we'd go down a hill and they'd jump off. It was crazy, bro. Why we the were, fuck? Yeah, we were, <laughs> dude, we were bad. <laughs> we were oh, like sorry, bro. Dude, dude, it dude, was it lit. Jumped. No, the whole point was you would jump off, but you would try to keep running. Like, when you hit the ground, you try to... Dude, one time this kid fucking... He literally jumped, and he kept running, bro. He didn't fall. It was <laughs> insane, bro. <laughs> That's so lit. It was insane, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was so stupid when I was young. I'm still stupid. Yeah, because you stupid. were talking about the fucking hunter gatherer shit. Like I feel like low key, if it came down to it, yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I could definitely survive with like nothing. I'd be in the fucking woods, yes. like naked and afraid type shit. I'd Hell yeah, like, I could, could win that shit. I could win that shit. No chicken and rice. I'd be the first chicken one and to rice. Die. I could get chicken and rice, Where do you in, get the, the rice? in the wilderness, bro. I fucking well, shoot the chicken. And, and I, I there's find some chickens in the woods. Yeah, there are you know somewhere. You know how somewhere, hard it is somewhere, to get rice. They're attracted bro. to him. In the they're field. attracted to him. <laughs> you know the how chickens. hard it is to get rice, bro. <laughs> rice Dude, plants. The chicken and the rice. You know how hard is it is to get that shit. You gonna get bit by a snake, bro? <laughs> that shit's on the fucking water, dog. I'm dead serious, bro. They take you on a field trip when you grow up in school here. It's the Hobcock Barony. That's like one of the old rice plantations, bro. You ain't going to pick no fucking rice out there, son. You're going to get eaten by something. I swear to fucking God. Dead serious. My rice. ass would be the first one to die. I'll admit that shit, bro. From rice, what? rice is rare. If we went to like Naked and Afraid, if we all had to go to Naked and Afraid or some <laughs> shit like that, why the Naked and Afraid one? Why do we got to be naked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why do we have to be naked let's and do, afraid? Why, he said Naked and Afraid first. <laughs> Jesus. So, let's say we all went on like, what? God, what's one? What is one? I don't even know. Sur- Survivor. 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 Survivor is not even that. Let's just no. keep yes. it Naked and Afraid, bro. It's good. Okay, it's yeah. Good. Naked and Bear Afraid, grills. but not let's naked. So just grills. afraid. So let's... Yeah, not <laughs> naked, but so afraid. Just afraid. Not, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, not naked, but afraid. Yeah. So let's say we're all out in the fucking wilderness, right? We all have to survive. Not naked and afraid. I would be... De- I guarantee I'd probably be the first one to be like, all right, y'all motherfuckers come get me. I'm done with this shit. Y'all tripping. Why? Wow. You're really that scared, no, what, if it, what if it came down to, like, actual survival? Oh, bro, bet that. You up 100%. I'm not dying, bro. But oh, if we okay. had the option to be, like, helicopter, like, you know, like, come pick me up. Oh, like, is that, anymore. How would you like, have a million option? dollars on the table, and you're like, million, nah, fuck Million that. dollars? Y'all, y'all boys lose it. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're going to... Now, out. my biggest thing would be I, I, the smelling. Like, I'd start to smell like shit. I don't like, think you would make it, bro. Me. That wouldn't, that wouldn't make me happy. No, dude, you forget. Sick. I don't like to eat. So the eating problem. No, eating I part, know, but I'm saying like problem. the cleansing this. Like, yeah, the clean, I'm, I'm the that cleanliness. way too, but like I think if I had like the mentality, I could like stick to it. Like, you know what I mean? Well, you guys are just germ phobes that you couldn't do it. That, that's dude, that's I shower, what I'm saying. Me and Mason were talking about this the other day. I shower like three to four <laughs> yeah. times a day. Yeah, dude. So, moral of the story, y'all are pussies. So, basically, y'all are worried about fucking being clean in the middle of nowhere when yes. you, all your main focus is survival. Well, no, we were just talking about, like, bro, like... like I just like being clean, bro. I, I have like to shower, who? like... I have to shower at least, like... For who? Like, you're not trying to impress nobody, so it shouldn't really matter. No, I'm yeah, saying, but for, for me, you. it just feels weird. For me, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm, if I smell like ass, I'm like... So you I go? Mean, how I, many? I, admit, I smell like so ass, you go, but like you've gone like you probably go like weeks without showering, right? <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> What's the longest? He just gets the chicken <laughs> breast. He just gets the chicken breast to longest, lather up, bro. Longest time you've gone without showering? Probably a couple of days. Why? Why? By accident? Maybe I'm busy. Maybe I was in Holy. fucking. Oh. No, we, we were in Houston. I was showering. I hope so. Uh, Al didn't shower. Geez. That's fucking. No, I showered like three times. Oh, a day. good. Thank God. No, like <laughs> I was obviously fucking around. I'm just saying in general, like it's not like was, if I was in the middle of nowhere. I wouldn't be concerned. That would be my last concern. Yeah, I'd with be being clean. More concerned about mm. food and water and shit. Where would you want to be? So like, it, if say you don't say move it, your feet, bro. We're gonna fight. What's wrong with my feet? Everything. Are you not Where using this? I'm so this. say. There say, you go. Say, keep it up. I'm there. uncomfortable. I don't care. Say, say. <laughs> All right, hey, bro. All right, I'm sick of it, bro. You're sick of it, huh? I'm sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously, say, hey, say you're like it's like a Fortnite type deal, right? Like. All right, so we're doing this, right? It's a hunter gatherer thing, but you're you're able to pick where they could drop you at. Where are you getting dropped at? Oh, that's a good idea. Yo, where are you getting dropped at, bro? But you you're like you're getting dropped. But it's got to uh, be like somewhere that's like wherever you want, wherever in the world, bro. 
Well then, what the fuck is the the you, fucking food if, lion? I'm about to say, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, what no, you mean? Be, Drop gotta... me in the food lion, my <laughs> boy. No, like, Jesus no, Christ! No, I'm <laughs> saying if this was like 200 years ago, bro, like where would you be dropped at? All right, so like no creation whatsoever. Like let's like say Pangea, bro. Like this shit. No stores. You don't even know I what Pangea is. Somewhere. You don't know what Pangea is. I would be is. dropped somewhere near a fucking stream or a lake or a river so Absolutely. that I could fucking have Oh, same. Right. I can't survive think, without water. But, bro, you got to think back then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got to think back then, bro. If you're talking Pangea, anything near water, you're going to have big-ass fucking dinosaurs there to eat your ass. Bro, dinosaurs? What do you mean, well, not, bro? No, no. You All said right. now Pangea. You're just, that's dinosaurs, my boy. Yeah, dinosaurs knows. aren't real. Yeah, but bro, you Pangea, you know Pangea is the era I can't of when dinosaurs were around. I can't combat this level of stupidity. Are they actually real? No, and they were. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> how, but how, my question is, um, how do you know they were? The fossils. fossils. Don't be this flat Earth fucking motherfucker that's sitting here. That world's yeah, flat. Like, no, but come like, on, like dude. that. What if? What if the government? Wanted us to believe my in boy. dinosaurs. Birds my boy. aren't real. The world's flat, and my boy, fucking it, we live in a so simulation. You there say, you go. You mean to I'm say that saying. they? You mean to say like after like? What if they faked huge, fossils? Like, yeah. What fucking, if they faked them? Yeah, I can't entertain this. They yeah, faked. I can't. I can't my they faked the fucking, UFO. What about the UFO shit? They keep they, they fake oh. that shit because we're so dumb, and now we're so insensitive to that shit that it doesn't fucking matter. But twenty years ago, if we released that footage, people would have freaked the fuck out. But now we are so fucking in. In our TikToks and shit that we don't give a fuck. That's why. Well, what about the dinosaurs? We're talking about the dinosaurs here. You're talking like, about UFOs. No, no. My it thing could is be fake. It could yep, be fake. Because what's your my, favorite dinosaur? Uh, Velociraptor. T Rex. My chicken. What's your favorite non pornographic magazine to masturbate to? What? Good housekeeping. Uh, yeah. You missed it. You guys uh, know what we're talking well, about. Step Brothers. I want to talk about fucking dinosaurs right now because this is like actual. So this is my thing. Actual thing. You didn't find the fossils. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Are they like because they are carbon? Do you know what carbon dating is? They carbon date carbon the fossils. 14, carbon fourteen. They now, carbon who, date now, the fossils. Now, so that who, means who the, did? Who did? Motherfucker, I'm gonna slap the shit out yeah. you. Well, well, are you did you get see? the fossils? See? <laughs> yeah. see, see, I like the way Ben came in on that. <laughs> that <laughs> who did? Who, <laughs> you did not dig up the fucking fossils, bro. <laughs> Yo, we see Alistair out there 200 years ago. With <laughs> My ass is about to go find a goddamn <laughs> yeah. fossil for you, motherfucker. He's gonna, start <laughs> He's gonna go hop off the porch real quick. Go get us one, bro. Let's go. No, but seriously, that's what I'm. How much know, protein in a dinosaur? <laughs> So that's a really good. How much protein do you think a T Rex had? And do you think a T Rex would have tasted fucking good? It would have tasted well, like, chicken, like chicken. I've heard. I've heard they taste like chicken. One hundred percent. You're a fucking idiot. One hundred percent. What do you mean you heard it tastes like chicken? He's fucking with my. My, that my, was like, my cousin told me. I'm really messing with you, you fucking my, dumbass. I just, I'm, he's not messing. He my cousin. My cousin told me, dude. He loves that. Nah, that, that's got so a lot if, of no, protein. No, okay. Let's. I can actually. I can actually make this inference. If if one if gator tastes like chicken, because it does. Okay. Have you had gator? It's a yeah, gator. Gators, gators a reptile. A dinosaur's a reptile. One could infer. Okay. That the gator and a dinosaur might taste kind of the fucking same. All right. I'm not dad. I'm not dad. You think they're related? Guess. Yeah, 100 percent. Right. I mean, there's a relation. The, the alligators have been crocodiles around. and alligators were around when dinosaurs yeah. were around. Have you ever seen a gator? I think we're related to dinosaurs. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no. I think all. I think everything's no, I, like, I think everything's related in some way. Now Ooh. you sound like you believe in crystals and astrology. Evolution. Evolution. Now you sound like you're on meth. Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> do you, you ever think of, uh, heard of the theory of adaptation, not evolution? Adaptate the same shit, right? No. Well, natural explain. selection. Na Let yeah, explain. there you go. Natural selection is not evolution. Well, you get what I'm saying. That's adaptation. Evolution's within like one species, isn't it? So basically, it, well, here's my argument with or evolution. With evolution, you would have to be able to identify every single, every single evolution that happens. So from from not even just A to B, from but from A1 to A2 to yeah. A3 to A4 to A5 to A6. So that means you'd have to be able to find fossils, a.k.a. like homo, homo sapien, like homos. You'd have to be able to find a fossil from every single sus. evolutionary yeah. adaptation. So that's the problem. That's the problem with evolution. It's like they haven't been able to find the fossils. And as they find more fossils, they come up with more adaptations, which disproves evolution more because that yep. means there's less 
like findings from dude. each sequence. Yep. Does that dude, make sense? Optimal, bro. <laughs> That's how it is, though. That's real science. No, nah, bro. Right I'm there. a fucking nerd, dude. <laughs> I don't hey. think the dinosaurs are real. They are real. It's just that they suck and they died and we're here. Never thought of that. They're not optimal like us. Exactly. They, we we're would die the same. T-Rex. We would die the same way if Yellowstone erupts. We're fucked, dude. You're listen, dumb. Listen, dude. I'm about to say, like, what if, like, I feel like we could just be Yellowstone going. National Park, bro. It's a great park, by the way. I've been there. Yep. Really? Yeah, really? Really nice. It, dude, that volcano. Really nice. That volcano, if it erupts, we're fucked. Dude. Where's that even at? That's like near Yogi. Uh, California. Montana. No, Montana. Yogi yeah, Bear. Montana. Oh, we like chilling, bro. Center in the country. We no, chilling? dude, you don't it's understand. It's a big fucking volcano. Dude, you don't understand. The smog, like, would cover the entire United States. The entire, basically, your North America. North, Northern Hemisphere. Smog. How fast? Because I'm getting the fuck With, out Within a couple time. weeks, bro. Do you understand the chaos that would happen? You yeah, wouldn't be getting gonna, out, dog. We're going to be dead by the time that, that fucking happens. So. And if it erupts, it erupts. We're fucked. Whatever. I'd what be swimming in the fucking Asia. <laughs> the water going to be hot as hell, boy. Swimming. You got fucking lava dipping into it. Not that not that soon. That's That's say, if I you got catch her. it in time. You give me, I mean, I guess. Me dude, you got start. a window of opportunity. We got a head start in South Carolina. That shit's That's true yeah. across the fucking... Because it will happen, and then, yeah. You so And then the where's the ring of fire? You know what I'm talking about? I mean, the, uh, that's where the volca- all the volcanoes are in the near the equator. That's near the equator. Then. Mason, you didn't pay attention in school, did you? I don't know if you're talking to me. Or Pam, <laughs> what so the I, hell? I feel dumb what what type of question was that? Now. Yo, dead I'm ass. Talking about though? volcanoes now. Shit, I, I like it's a real legit question, bro. You I don't know. know what the ring of fire is? No, no. You that's just said you didn't pay attention in school, did you? That was the most. Well, I said thing. ring of fire, and you went. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Johnny Cash song, bro. Yeah. I went down, oh, down, man. down, and the flames went higher. Yeah, I don't know any of that. And it burned. Nah, but like real burns. shit, real shit. What if it fucking rained so much that the entire earth was just flooded? Well, the ice caps are how ice, the the ice caps are happen. melting, so eventually everything's gonna be flooded. That's another thing. Like, what if that happens? Do we just build fucking? If that happens, then we're yeah. fucked before anybody. Because I we're personally believe it's all talk. Are what we, do you think? All these are just like. Do you see how many things we've talked about that's gonna end the world, but yet has not even gotten close. No, nah, I think it could. I think it's just talk, bro. I mean, I, we, that's what I don't talk. think it's talk, bro. I think humans are definitely like slowly and I surely think, fucking this planet. I think we're no. we're gonna we're gonna fuck ourselves before the planet fucks us. Yes, yes, exactly. No, oh no doubt. Yeah, I, I mean, would. Yes. Well, basically, we'll destroy each other before right. we destroy 100%. the planet. And we already. I mean, like I said, phones like the fucking yeah. first thing. That's well, no, like no, no. The first cat. thing that'll be destroyed is Alistair because I'll, I'll beat his ass and then. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that was that was that was. Uh, and then next is Abella Danger getting destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, for real, oh, bro. honestly, dude, Shit. she's so hot. Really, you really think she is? I do. I mean, yeah, I, get that. Right. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think she's like. That I think there's crazy. some better. Uh, there's so many. I'm really into thick girls, bro. Ariana Grande, bro, she's valid. Is she not even on the hub ski? I know, right? Ariana Grande is valid. She needs to get on. That was like my. That was my little crush. Like as I grew up, was Jessica Alba used to be so fucking fun. Oh my god, bro! Bro, And Into the Blue with that the guy who passed away. Remember the movie where they go on the boat and they like they they find the cocaine in the crash plane and shit. Was bro, that she, into the blue? Or yeah, that that's into uh, the blue with the dude from Fast and Furious and Jessica Alba. I literally just watched it, okay. and I was watching it, and I was like, "Oh my god, what's, I want to fuck Jessica well, Alba." What's, <laughs> what about Jessica, Jessica Alba? Dude, she was like that first one, bro. First one of what? Like, like in middle, Jessica like Simpson when Dukes of Hazard came Jessica out, Simpson. and Jessica Simpson was in it, bro. Me and my boys used to have a joke in middle school because we were so stupid and naive. Yeah, yeah. We'd be like J S S S S S S S S. So like Jessica Simpson shooting sperm because we thought like, oh, everybody shoots sperm because that's what I do. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, that wow. was the inside joke. Because we were crazy. like, we just want to see Jessica Simpson naked. So that was our like little inside joke. We'd be like J S S S S S S S. Yeah, yo, yo, weird. Bro, we were really think, horny middle schoolers. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's middle school, dude. You fucking dude, yeah. you, are you kidding me? I could have looked at the naked lady in the history book oh, in yeah. middle school and been like, damn. But you oh, knew dude, I'd probably like, smash. Oh, dude, I just my pants plenty times in school, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. Bro, <laughs> are you that kid? No, nah, dude, in middle school, it's really bad. Like, I don't even think people understand how horny middle school boys are. Oh, like, if, if middle schoolers could act upon their thoughts, the world would be fucked. You get boners every, like, ten minutes. <laughs> it's so, like, more you than get, that, bro. Yeah. What fuck you mean, dog? Yeah, bro, you you get asked to write something on the board, you gotta be like, nah. <laughs> 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 you 
<laughs> Yo, do Bro, you remember that? The amount of times that shit would happen, you'd be sitting there, and you're like, damn. Fuck. Yeah. I really don't want to get up right now. You're wearing, you're you wearing know, jeans, so it hurts. It. Flip up. You're like, do the flip. All right. I guess... Uh, and then I'm like, is anybody noticing this? Like, I think like that's only some. <laughs> no worst fear. I'd be like, dude, honestly, what if what if everybody knows my penis is small? <laughs> In middle school, yeah, that was the biggest you're, pressure. You're, you're like, like, dude, what if I have the small penis? <laughs> like, dude, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh my god! I dead ass asked the doctor, bro. I went to the doctor, and he's like, you want your mother in here? I was like, nah, mom, get the fuck out. And I asked the doctor. I was like, twelve. I was like, bro. It's like, the fuck is good with this shit? I was like, I'm watching this stuff on the internet, and this is not matching up, bro. I was like, what is good with me, dude? Yeah. At 12? Yeah. He yeah, was dude. like, no. bro, I was a what horny. What are you doing at 12? at 12? Not fucking watching porn yet. Really? Are you for real? So. No. I was watching porn at 12. Bro, yeah. the first yeah. time I was introduced to porn, my best friend's older brother left it on his computer, and we went to go on his computer, and we saw I was like 10, and yeah. I went, dude, 10? it was it was lube tube, bro. And I was lube literally, tube. yeah, I was literally oh, fucking I scrolling through it, and I was like, oh my story, God, bro. I was like, titties Hilarious, are bro. awesome, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What's the story? No, so, <laughs> 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 yo, so like, this was, I don't think this was my first time, but like, bro, this is like, so like, it was like me and a bunch of my friends, and my mom was on the computer, and uh, she was trying. <laughs> she, that's a good way to tell her. Just listen. Going, just listen. No, no, you you don't you don't know where the fuck it's going. It's actually short, but it was all of us sitting there, and she was all, no, we were right there with her. Like she was on the computer. We were talking about going to Dick's Sporting Goods, right? We were like maybe like I don't know fourth fifth. You grade. type in dicks. Yeah, she no, she typed in dicks, and all that came up was like a bunch of like dicks That's and fucking. Inter- it was like, yo, yeah, oh so my god, bro! It was just such like a what safe the fuck? search was off. That wasn't a thing back in the day. It was just like you type in dicks and just yeah, pops man. Up. We used to just fucking roll out, bro. How do you guys feel? Have you looked into like porn and like the dopamine? And shit oh, dude, like, it's like terrible that? for you. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't. I think it's awful. I no, no, it's very bad for you. Like I literally like had to stop watching it because I had a porn addiction. Yeah, I think like I, I will definitely yeah. say, like growing up, dude, and I didn't notice it until my Later. like previous relationship, like yeah. a year into it, she was like, "Hey," she was like, "You have a porn addiction," and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> like nah, fuck you. I do not. Like you're fucking dumb. Like, how the fuck? How the fuck would she know? Dude, I'm just living in the same fucking house. What you yeah. mean? I'm, jer- I'm jerking my shit bro. right in front of her. Nah, what? but bro, I ain't hiding the shit, bro. Like she knows, dude. Well, why would you do that when you have a girl? Yeah, well, and you try to like reenact it and shit, dude. That's the addiction. Is like oh, we'd be fucking, but I'd still be watching porn. Bro. And you'd be re- shit. I didn't. Do you all ever that. try to like, reenact yeah, it? So, that's what happens, dude. Now. So again, I had to stop watching it because it became a problem, and it yeah. also makes you. Look at sex in a very negative way. Yeah. So, like, my habits around sex were super, like, yeah. negative. Like, it was all dirty, like, nasty, dirty type shit. Like, you know what I mean? That doesn't make a girl feel good, too. It's like some, sometimes girls want to have sex like that. But, you know, if you're dating somebody, they want to, like, make you, love. You, you lose, know what I mean? You lose sen- sensitivity to, like, what it is. And, like, you actually fucking can't bust or, like, hold hold a fucking boner because, you like, what you're... Doing is not the same as what you watched. No. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like we do, we because the noises, especially like for that example, doesn't fucking happen often. For example, this is like what would point out what pointed out like the addiction, like having intercourse while watching porn, rock solid. Then all of a sudden we're not, but we're having intercourse and I'm not like rock solid. Yeah. So there's a problem. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure. So it just becomes you just have to stop watching it. Yeah, because I know we were, we were like fucking joking about it and shit, but like high key, that shit's. Oh uh, no, it's I terrible it's for awful. you. Yeah. But yeah. it's also, dude, you got to think it's good that this generation has access to that information. When I was growing up, bro, yeah, bro, my brother, like my friend's brothers, were like, "Bro, look at this shit." Yeah, it was like the like cool they were thing. showing me porn videos at like eleven, dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They'd be like, "Dude, look at this bitch's titties." I'd be like, "Oh my god, I'm like 11 I'm like. I think it definitely creates a line now. Like people can identify it, but I think I think it's worse now nowadays. Think? I think the accessibility, dude. You fucking scroll. You go on any fucking social media platform. Sex is right in front of your face in like 100%. the worst way. You go on TikTok. There's some bitch fucking with her feet up doing this shit, and I'm like, yo, I'm done, <laughs> done for the day. Like not fucking scrolling anymore. I'm like, what the fuck? And it's almost like you can get like whatever you want now too, because if yeah. you go on TikTok. 
ninety percent of these girls posting thirst traps have an OnlyFans link in yeah. their fucking bio. You click that shit. It's yeah. probably only like what, like ten dollars a month or they some shit. It. Think think about how much porn stars used to ma- or used to make or make right, and they made a lot of money. They made like five dollars a shoot, they're and this is it. like real. They're killing it. Yo, fucking OnlyFans girls make three hundred, uh, like a hundred to three hundred k a month. Millions. A month. I know some they make, make millions, millions of month. dollars. Yeah. They make more than an, an actual porn star would make selling actual fucking. Videos, um, and videos and shit at higher quality, right? The porn videos you watch are very high quality with like studio set up fucking shit. It's like actual. It's shit. crazy, dude. Some of the OnlyFans girls don't even like. It's not even like a. It like they literally aren't even naked in some of that shit. Yeah, you know right. what I'm and, and they're, they're still making all that money, bro. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know like, a girl that doesn't sell. Like she does no nudity. She does like cosplay, but she fucking crushes it. And I was like, yo, like I hit her. I I asked her. I was like, how do you? You know, because she has a husband and stuff. I was like, how do you justify wow. this? And also, like, how do you feel about this? She goes, you know, honestly, like, if you want to pay for my stuff, great. Like, if you like my content, fine. It's like, at the end of the day, it's con- she called it content. And I was like, oh, fuck. I feel like it's, it's going to be. It's content. No. Yeah. But that's, but it's filling someone, like, a very niche audience. Like, some, it's filling their cup. And, like, that audience is very hidden. You don't know who's subscribing to them. Right? And that's yeah. kind of like, that's also kind of weird because, like, who like it could be like your fucking like uncle or some shit so, like watching that cosplay girl dress up as fucking a Pokemon. Yeah, but even, I mean, even <laughs> that, it's not like uh, it's not like that bad though. If you're not like doing like serious shit, but I get what you're saying because yeah. like if you were doing serious shit, yeah. would you anybody, marry an OnlyFans girl? Would I marry her? Yeah, it depends what she's posting. I might pull an Andrew Tate and be like, "Yo, if you give me all the money, like you're good." Like she's like, she's like, <laughs> that's fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. No, do you think that's valid though? Like, if your girl is doing OnlyFans, because to be honest, my girl, I would not probably probably not date someone if they were posting like nude shit on OnlyFans. Well, what if they're a model? Like, what if they're doing like lingerie? That that's it. Like, well, no nude shit, but I'm saying like that be, but I'm saying like they're like. Like actually, like oh fucking like yeah. porn. That's different. I think that there's yeah, a no line. Shot. There's no a shot. line where it's like tolerable, and I, but that's your values, right? Like you, yeah. like I know people that are totally fucking cool with it, and they fuck their girl, their girl on on camera without their face in it, and they're like, yeah, no, totally, and they make a fucking I would do buck. That. They're That'd like, yo, sick. we're happy making fifty k a year, fucking doing some shit that fuck. some dudes jacking off to, and they don't give a fuck. They that that doesn't bother them in their head. Yeah, but that that that's to me that's kind of I don't know. I'm no, I'm saying with like with someone else. Like if my girl was doing the shits with someone else, oh, that's not me, not me. That's like that's just porn star level. Then that's you what just I'm saying. Be comfortable with that if not, like, I wouldn't date that girl. But I'm saying if right. my girl was doing OnlyFans, and it wasn't like nude shit, she was making a, a bunch of money. Fucking, I know Andrew Tate was like, yo, I get all the fucking the I the don't money. agree with that. Would you I let her drive your car? <laughs> you watched the fucking Nelf yeah, podcast? Bro. That Nelf podcast was lit, bro. I mean, fucking, well, he's got Bugattis. I have fucking. Bugattis. I got the Cybertruck. Yeah, I was like, the fucking, it. the little Honda. So <laughs> I don't, I think I would just because it's like. But I think it's going to be hard, honestly, bro. Like, like, I don't know. Like, if you are, like, looking for a girl, like, most girls are going to have that, like, that OnlyFans and shit like that, bro. Literally. You know what I'm saying? Next to the client, bro. Yeah. But yeah, dude. So, no, nah, but uh, now nah, would you date someone that's doing OnlyFans? No. Uh, I d- I guess it just depends. I, I yeah. mean, if she's like, if she's doing it, and then it's like, yo, like, let's do it. I'd be like, hell yeah. Oh, okay. So you would be totally cool. You're 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 ding dong out there, right? Yeah, All dude. Right. <laughs> Why not? Fucking, I can see, I can see it now, bro. <laughs> the blonde, the, the blonde, blonde swan. Bro. Subscribe to oh. OnlyFans. <laughs> Yo, but there's Yo. Th- there's a lot of dudes that are successful on OnlyFans too. No one just talks really? about it. Really? Yeah, dude. Like a lot That's of crazy. fitness, a lot of fitness people, fitness models. I guess you say guys with like that. Just like yeah, you just post up in your underwear, bro. Like, yeah. I could probably do that and make you fucking probably, bread, bro. You probably but, make, like, be successful. I've gotten DMs about like why don't you do man- it? Like managing me for that shit. And I was like, nah, bro. Why it's more, you? it's more like a credibility thing. Whereas, yeah. like you know, I have I have sponsorships that I have to like and hold up to. Yeah. You know, Think like, about the- I don't want, it's going to like, it's the stigma. It's not really because yeah. if you do it and you don't post like nude shit, then it's like not bad. But the fact that you did OnlyFans, it creates this stigma, whether you, yeah. whatever the fuck you post doesn't really no, matter. 100%. It's just the fact that you do OnlyFans, it's like a stereotype, whereas you're not going to be respected no, as much as. That's the same thing with girls usually, you know? I yeah. mean, you respect, I, well, no, actually, usually you don't, like if you're trying to. I was going to say, like, I, I mean, 
if a girl has an OnlyFans, like, my respect for her probably goes down. Yeah. But it all Doubt. Because it's just not, yeah. I'm not marrying a girl who has an OnlyFans. Yeah, it's not facts. even that because it's like... Why? So my kid can go to school and then kids can be like, dude, tell your mom to upload more anal pics to her OnlyFans. <laughs> like, no. Anal pics. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. We're going to see a uh, blonde swan. Yes, sir. Anal with Sa- the... Santi <laughs> Sa- 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 does it, bro. <laughs> Santi Sa- does it. Y'all y'all ain't even let me fucking finish, bro. I was going to do the, the goaded title of all time. Blonde swan does anal with the... Fucking brunette pelican. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chill, bro. That's Let's funny as fuck. Is there a brunette pelican out there? <laughs> no, nah, hey, there's gotta be, bro. There's gotta be Yo, somewhere, bro. I'm gonna down find her. Below if you're no, I'm gonna there. find her. Maybe Brett, fucking... Brett was telling me though that Santi does it, and basically all the dudes that pay for his OnlyFans are just gay guys. Well, that's what I mean. Who else would it be? <laughs> like if I if I did one, well guys, if I did one, who, like if you did one, if I did one, who the fuck? I mean, I guess subscribe? you'd have to be some like Fe- Johnny Sins type for Female, females to be paying. Females for that aren't shit. like that though. We're visual. We're visual creatures. Females are uh, f- like they have emotional, like, emotional, emotional, emotional sensual, different, sensual they creatures. Different, yeah, they need different stimulus than just fucking watching something. That's why porn's so popular. Like I bet you do some straight dudes wa- like subscribe to some some guys only fans just because they're so fucking. Into that Excuse type of me. shit, you know what I mean? Just to see, like, oh, let me see. I'll subscribe for him for five months. Five bucks. What's five bucks? Yeah, I'll subscribe. Let's see what a con- type of content he's subscribed. That's for. really you know gay. I mean? But is it? But yo, that's how. That's how much of a problem it is now. It's through a paywall. I'm not doing that. And justify people can justify five dollars all the time. I ain't that curious. That's what I'm saying. But that, that's what that's what yeah. OnlyFans does. The cu- it's the curiosity that drives people to subscribe. But like we were just saying, you would definitely. Like a girl, like if she was like, "Yo, come get on here," you would get on there, right? Fuck yeah, hell yeah, I'm so, with you too, brother. Let's go. I don't care, bro. But the only people that are gonna see that shit are the people paying for it. It's not like it's on Pornhub. Yeah, but wonder if it's like a. It can get it can get leaked. Should, there. I about to say like screen recording is a thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Mr. Optimal gets caught. Yeah. <laughs> He's Found not it. so optimal. Yeah. Over here. <laughs> I, know, I think it's a, it's definitely like a credibility thing for me. Is like, cause I really don't give a fuck. Like I would fucking do. That. I guess I'd have to be a POV because I wouldn't want my face in it. Then, but dude, I have tattoos. So either way, somebody could be like, <laughs> Yeah, your tattoos this are pretty. Is, yeah, that's like, analog, identifiable. Yeah. yeah, I'd be fucked, bro. Yeah, literally. If it was like Brandy Love, dude, I'd be like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> I don't care, bro. She's hot. The plan next Houston trip is summer shredding. When is that? Me and uh, Anthony are going. You guys can slide. Which when summer? is it? It's going to be, I think, October 20-something. Of this year? We'll go over yeah. there. So it's, oh, I'll it's be coming shredded. Oh, you going to be ready? Yeah, I'll be shredded. Hell yeah. Nah, yeah. but that's when it's going to be like the most packed. So it's a really good time to go because there's a lot of people. My birthday's yeah. in October. That's the whole October what? Thirteenth. It'll be after that, I think. I think it's twenty something. Oh word! I was born on Friday the thirteenth. That's awesome. Oh, it says ah, it explains a lot. What's that? What What do they do that? Like, what is that? Like, they just it's a, the it's a show. Head. It's a show. Oh, it's an actual show. Yeah. You could compete in it if you wanted to. Dude, ain't no way. Oh, that's a... (laughs) Summer shredding. It's not even like a real... real, They just did one in in June. It's like a different, like... But you can't... You just win... Is it... Do you get money if you win? Or what do you get? I think you get, like, an Alpha Elite sponsorship. (laughs) Which is, like, the the clothing brand. You get a sponsorship, and you get... I think you do get money. And you could probably get, like, a trophy or whatever. Wow. That's pretty big Just be shredded? Just, like, just a bodybuilding comp? Yeah, so it's just basically it's got same. classic physique, men's same. physique, uh, same okay, shit. Okay, it's okay. in October. October. Next, oh yeah, I got enough time. Not what even trying do? to be like that, bro. But I would never prep for something like that when I would when I'm trying to like be a IFBB bro. <laughs> it's tough. I think it'd be if out. it was a federation bot like competition, I think, which I think they should be, try to make it. You know, a federation I competition. Think it would be, I, think I would love are. to do it. Do that, win that, and then go win a bunch of uh, other shows and become pro and be like. <laughs> That's hard though, because you're in a, such a steep. Dude, you know how hard it is to peak and peak. Yeah. Like peak, peak. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, to hit a peak and win a show, and then peak again correctly after that, and win that show. It just depends upon who you're working with, or if you know your body. Doesn't even depend on who you're working with, bro. Nick Walker went to the Arnold, 
peaked perfectly for his Arnold, won the Arnold, then went to the Olympia and looked watery as shit compared to where he was at the Arnold because he did two shows so close together. It doesn't even matter who you're working with. He's working with the best coach in the fucking world. I know. At some point, your body Oh, can yeah, you can't only do like 40 shows in a row, but I know It's not people. even 40, dude. It's, it's at some point, it's hard to peak and then peak. Like, you're never going to look... It's hard to look better your second peak than yeah. it is your first peak. Unless you just don't peak on your first one. And yeah, then you just exactly. That just comes down to genetics. Like yeah, that's that what really I'm saying, dude. Genetics. Yeah, like but you're if, you, if you're if you saying, my point is if you're going to do a show seriously just and win it, you'd peak. You know what I mean? I so it's hard to win both shows. I've seen somebody, I've seen, well, this is just physique though, but like the dude, that, the guy I know, Tanel, bro, he won like, he has the most wins in like in a year. He won like twenty five times. He won like fucking like twenty what shows year is this in though? one year, bro. What year is this? Uh, like 2016, 2017. Yeah. So again, but this is That's a lot. Still crazy. But it's bro. still crazy. But now these guys are a lot bigger. That would not be possible now. And no, not even that. I think it's just like well, it just depends upon. It's that would not be possible now. I think that if Brandon Henderson wanted to, he could go win as many shows as he wanted to. He wouldn't win the Olympia. It's, it's I tough. guarantee you well, he wouldn't, bro, because stacking up against all those dudes on their bro. A game, dude. If he if he prepped throughout the entire year, you think he would still win the Olympia? The Olympia is at the end of the year, correct? Yeah, but you correct. Have to- hold on, hold on, hold on. Correct? Yes. Okay, he could go January through April, win a ton of shows, stop, and then prep for the Olympia, win that too. Oh my God, so so hard, right? I don't think he would There's stack up as so as good much. next to somebody who's prepping bro. the entire year for it. I mean, it, Time no, he is, may not look his best, but it, it doesn't mean he has to be his best to win. Oh, wait, that's I just disagree, bro. When you got people like Raymond Evans and Aaron Banks up there, Aaron no. Banks would wipe the floor with Brandon Hendrickson right now because Aaron Banks is so fucking huge. If Aaron Banks took a whole offseason, competed through the Olympia this year, and then Brandon Hendrickson did that, fucking Aaron Banks would be Mr. Olympia. I guarantee that. Are we talking about men's physique? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Aaron Banks, dude, do you even know who Aaron Banks is? No, and I don't care to. Dude, he's... Dude. <laughs> a lot of money on so this how guy. can, you, how can you talk so confidently and then not fucking know who's in the damn... I don't even think... I think we're man, getting off like the original fucking point. So like, if, the, if you're going to peak... That's the original post. Peaking like two weeks in a row. It's, I'm saying if you fucking... If you peak for one, it's going to be like... Because you got to fucking like... When you peak, like you're kind of backtracking yourself, aren't you? In terms yes. of like, yeah, you're you're, the you're carb, fucking carved up, the and carb then up. you only have seven days to like try to do that over again. And it's hard because if you drop all your carbs even after the show, you know it's probably gonna take a little bit for the water to get out of you, and then you have to do that over again. You're so not, if you had like a little, if you had like a month or like a couple weeks in between, like show to show. Then I would say you might be able to, but it's like it's so short. This comes down to like a that's them next. You're tripping, dude. That's them next to each other, and he looks identical. Plus, he's taller. I think it comes down to like a physiological thing, like rather than just fucking like what you have. To Who do you think looks do. better, the taller dude or the shorter dude? The taller one, exactly. And that's Aaron well, Banks, bro. Well, well, who did look better on that stage? I forgot. Brandon won that. Oh, okay, but I, I didn't know. I just all forgot. All I'm saying I is, bro. M- fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you you didn't even know who he was. <laughs> all I'm saying is, bro. Hey, bro. I got a point though. That's all I'm saying. No, all I'm saying is, dude. If you st- if you put him through prep, January through whatever, and then give him a little time to prep, but you give somebody like Aaron Banks the entire year, there's no way somebody who's depleted themselves that much is going to stack up against somebody who's had the entire year to prepare for. Well, a I prep. would say assuming well, assuming that. that no, assuming that both people are the fucking same, then yes. But they like, are, yeah. liter- two they are literally the same. They have different genetics. I was about to say, there's yeah, two different yeah, people. Yeah, though, bro. Down, Come on, bro. Uh, if it's the same person, I, I agree, though. I, you know I got I, I I to agree with Al because he, he's coming th- from this just from experience no. and coaching perspective. Like You can't do that. Your body can't physically go through that unless you're... I don't give a fuck if he's Brandon Henderson or not. Aaron Banks yeah. just has as much genetic potential as Brandon Henderson, if not more, considering the fact that he's six fucking six no. and still that big. Yes, bro. Yes. So how? So yeah. what is your what is your argument with facts and like logic behind it? Besides just no. What facts and logic about what? Like how do you think someone can stack up when they have about the same genetic potential? Next yeah, well, to they, you should you should have led with that because yeah, I I agree. They dude. do have the I same agree. genetic. Like, it's bro, very it's fucking funny, but they're clear, totally bro. Different people though, bro. No, I, they're not, bro. When it comes down to their genetic potential, at the end of the, time, the, end of the day, it comes down to experience too. And there's a lot of different factors. They're both bro. fucking Olympians. They have the same experience level. 
my point is who cares if they're Olympians? I know Olympians who aren't even competing anymore that aren't even doing uh, anything right. with their lives, bro. bro Answer the question. Bro, like, we're all what? In, bro, we're agreeing and you guys are arguing. We're all in agreement. I just don't know where this argument's getting to. No, my point is how could you say that Brandon could win or stack up against somebody? who has the entire year to prep if he's going to beat the shit out of his central nervous system, his physique, and all that Honestly, shit. Honestly, we can't really argue this because you would just have to see it happen because there's just, I mean. Exactly, but logically, that's not possible. And I'm just going based off the facts. I mean, you were saying he looks better in that picture, but I just all I recall is that Brandon Hendrickson won that, didn't he? He did win this, but you can clearly see that Aaron Banks looks more shredded. He's bigger. And politics, oh. as you have said before, oh, yeah, play a role. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm trying to put in here. You never said that. No, this obviously bodybuilding is straight up politics, bro. Like, it's what? not straight up politics, oh, but it plays dude, a role. Hundred percent, bro. I could go do somebody's show if my coach is the, if my coach <laughs> is the person of the show. Like, if he's the one running the show, I'm gonna win that show. It don't matter, bro. I disagree. As long as I'm in good shape. How about, what if you pull out? No, I can't come in. I can, no, no. I'm saying as long as yeah, I'm in. Uh, as long as I'm in good shape. I completely disagree. No, I don't, because I've seen it happen. It happens in some it cases, happens all but the time, it does bro. not happen in every show. All I got. That's. I mean, in the conversation is, you know, you were talking about that picture, but I, like I said, I mean, I I just know who won that. So, I mean, you can't really. I mean, you said he looks better. He also but like, took the entire year to prep, bro. That's just it, man. Exactly. He had the entire year. That's just yeah. it. Okay. But you were just saying he looked better in that picture. Aaron Banks did look better. All right. I mean, it's all subjective. And that's a thing, you too. You said he looked better, too. I thought, yeah. Because, yeah, he's fucking. Yeah. It's, and like he said, it's subjective. I'm just but, saying they both had the whole year to prep. You're speaking in hypothetical that if Brandon Hendrickson right, right, preps right, right, the right, whole right, right. time. Everyone shut the fuck up. Well, I got yeah, it. Bro, this Mason is a refuses to bro. fucking see logic uh, sometimes. Bro. No, no, no. Not uh, even, bro, no, it's like. It's not It's not that. I'm just going based off what. Like, dude, that's already happened and, like, it's already over. It's and, not like, already happened. He's already won. He already beat him. He's never prepped that much and then tried to do an Olympia. It's not happened. Okay. I'm debunking your theory of like somebody can beat their the dog shit out of their physique and then still compete at an Olympia level and stack up against somebody who's had the entire. It's year just to not. Prep. It's not optimal, bro. Exactly. It's not. No, it's, yeah, it's not optimal. But I'm not saying. I'm not saying there. So you're telling me there's never been someone who prepped a whole year. There's someone who prepped a whole year and somebody who prepped. 12 weeks and that 12 week person beat the person that absolutely that's happened 100 that's what for i'm saying for the olympia win name no, i'm saying it i'm i know it is happening name bro. an I olympian who has not taken the entire year to prep for the olympia and has not fucking won name one person who has come in halfway through the year for the olympia and fucking gotten first place because there is not one. Because every almost Olympian no, has prepped the I'm entire saying. fucking year, bro. I'm not saying if you... I'm just saying there's a person who prepped 12 weeks that placed higher than somebody who, who prepped the whole year. Not the Olympia, right? No, in the Olympia probably, for sure. But you... Who? No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying, but that's... So then, that's, so then it's not real. I, how I, is it not I real? Because you like, don't know who... Bro, how is that not real? It just, it, I mean, you could easily look up. Somebody could easily have done a 12-week prep, bro, and then another person do a year prep, and that person, the 12-week person, I'm gonna, had a higher placing than the one look, that the whole year, bro. With, I'm going to side with Mace for a second Yeah, here, what? But, like, <laughs> if your fucking genetics are fucking absurd, bro... Olympia or not, that, you okay. could beat someone that so, has prepped a year. So what you you're prepped, saying, but what you're saying, but everybody on the Olympia level has those same genetics. If I'm saying if they have the same genetics, then absolutely the person that takes the year. We're talking bodybuilding, bro. Everybody on a high level has dumb fucking genetics. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there's not going to be a case. Yeah, I, I feel like, like, like Phil Heath, bro. What? The dude, Phil, one, Phil Heath times, never came bro. into the Olympia fucking like, oh, I'm going to compete 12 weeks out. No, but I'm just saying. So you're saying hypothetically that could genetics. happen, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. So I this is all fun. hypothetical. No, I know it has happened probably for sure. For, 100%. But like, you. Like, All right, can we, can we somebody. talk about, let's compare let's chicken <laughs> chicken and red meat. Let's compare that. So uh, You want to know my take? You wanna, yeah, let's, let's hear about your take. My take? Yeah. I think red meat is better than chicken. Okay. Just saying. Can I, can I get an explanation? Just my, it's more my, m most nutrient-dense food you can eat. Yeah. That's why there's such a hype behind red meat now, like carnivore diet, shit like that, because it does hold a lot of nutrients, but it's not good to have too much of it. But would you have red meat? Every meal. I try to have at least red meat five times a week. 
I have red meat twice a day. Okay. Ooh. But that kind of like Okay. Well, I have eggs and red meat, so I basically yeah. have two types of trace fats yep. in my diet. Saturated fats, brother. I have 400 grams of red chicken every day. What? 400 grams of red chicken every day. You weighed, gotta cook, you gotta cook weighed that raw. Ben. ben, you gotta cook that? Red chicken. When it's red, you gotta cook it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Red chicken. So you cook it, though, I right? have 400 grams <laughs> a day, but I just think, in general, I mean... If you have all the money in the world, then there's no problem. Have it every meal, whatever. But, like, yeah. chicken is just fucking goaded. I think it context matters, though. Because it's cheaper. Yeah, but it, context but matters. Like, like, why are you eating chicken? Protein. Right, right. But what's the, what, the Amino reason? Amino acids. The reason why is chicken and rice so essential to Gains. you? Gains. Right. <laughs> but, like, you have a... Bitches. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I <laughs> Money. Just, no, I'm Close. just at, I'm at Close. The, I'm at the point, dude, where I literally would rather... I've been eating 500 grams of egg whites for my final meal instead of seven ounces of chicken. And this, dude, egg. when I cook these egg whites, when I don't drink them, it's a whole literally large plate of egg whites. And then yeah. I have a whole bowl of You don't of like egg. chicken? No, dude. I'm. It's not even that, dude. I've been eating chicken straight for the past six to seven years, and it's getting to the point where I'm like, no matter what way I prep it, dude, yeah, at no the amount that I'm eating it, Seven and a half ounces, three meals a day, bro. That's an absurd amount of chicken, bro. At the amount that I'm eating it, by my last meal, I can't fucking yeah. do it. Like, I'm like, dude, fuck this. Why don't you <laughs> just go get, like, a different type of chicken or something? Dude, There's, I've tried ground chicken, chicken breast. Like, like, do they have, like, the Costco one that's, like, rotisserie that has dude, all I the fat off? I have two rotisserie it's chickens so good, in there. bro. I'm telling you, dude, it's to the so point good. where I just can't. I almost think it's a texture thing for me, too, because, you know, how chicken has a texture when you just chew it. Mm -hmm. Chicken breast, you know what I mean? I think it's getting to the point where I've just got to derive from it for a little bit so I can miss it. You know what I mean? Like, if I start to hate egg whites, I'll be like, oh, fuck, yeah, I want chicken. You know what I mean? You switch it up. That's what I mean. That's what you do. It's like if something gets old, you switch it up. The one thing I can't do is ground turkey. Like well, ground fuck that shit. Gross. But really? like what I like to do, like people yeah, think you should eat shit. like different shit all the time. But like I just have, I have five meals where I eat like a variety of shit. Because they say it's good to like switch up what you eat in it terms is, of like. But for Alistair, like it doesn't matter. Like, I just you're wish eating I could so much food to the point where oh, it I'm doesn't. Not, I'm matter. not even saying that. I'm just saying oh. like in general, like instead of eating different shit every day. I have five meals where it's just a variety yeah. every single day. Yeah, and that's that's good. Do you have like, different carbs for every meal now? Rice. Cream See, of yeah, rice. My you problem, just have rice? Rice, cream of rice. You don't have potatoes or anything like that? No. no. Potatoes, dude, potatoes are, potatoes, dude potatoes are so fucking hard. Filling. To, they're filling. Dude, they're very fulfilling. What are you the talking amount about? Of that's what I said. Oh, oh. The amount of potatoes I would have to eat. Oh, dude, it's to equal the amount of carbs that I get from white rice. Well, rice yeah. is easy. It's fucking ungodly. Potatoes, they're... It's uh, like 16 ounces of potatoes, bro. You, Do you know how much potatoes that to, is? You have to be careful, though, because the amount of starch and potatoes will actually fuck you up and fuck your GI tract up. Like, I had... I remember one time, and this is like just only like a very tiny moment, but like, I had, I think... I didn't want to have rice. I was like, I'm going to have potatoes. And I had the whole bag of like these mini potatoes, and it was about like fucking 400, 450 grams of potatoes. Dude, I fucking hit like a wall afterwards like the fucking insulin spike i had i had from it and then the drop i was fucking like i don't even want to work out now potatoes just are just so different when you when you eat them but like i eat, i eat a lot of oats too like oats is like my big pre and post i like workout. cream of rice yeah, cream of rice yeah. solid i got the fucking yeah. flour you're probably not watching this bro shout out marcus fit i put you on that boy no, i put you put me on him no, on cream of rice. Oh, I thought he said, you said no, that. I said that. <laughs> oh, cream of rice. Yeah, I remember I was eating that shit, and you were eating cream of wheat or something, and I said you should you should do rice. I think, I was going to say, I think Anthony Mantello put me on to oh, cream they, of rice. Who? Oh, that you kid Mantello? Yeah. But, uh, no, shout out Marcus Fit. He had this cream of rice flour mm. that he was like, he made on the shits, and he was like, this shit is, it's like so fluffy and shit, and I got it. And it's ass. It's fucking <laughs> so I'm going, I'm going back to cream of rice because that the, shit is ass. What's the appeal to cream of rice? Cream of rice? Fast it, cream yeah, and it's so bro. like it digests so easy. It's just so easy to get in. Yeah, bro. dude. It's really it's and it white tastes rice. good. It's good so, and you put protein so or jelly, like just easier. Yeah, put protein, protein or jelly. and peanut I feel like butter. I'm ganged up on cream of rice. You should try it. 
No, I don't like it. I just I don't prefer it. Pussy. Have you tried it with really? peanut butter and no, a I, good protein I like, powder? I like, my, I like my oatmeal. We have yeah, a that. pussy. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, oh. Ass. You gotta do this one. I hear it. Ready? Say it again. We have a pussy. <laughs> <That's cool>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's funny shit. Yeah, sure. No, dude. Cream of rice. I used to fucking hate it, but I was it's eating so the good, Gerber bro. one. The baby one. Oh, the one. baby uh, one, yeah. Trace, yeah. uh, trace amount of mercury. So if you have like iron it. deficiency, that's a really good something for people to eat. That's what I recommend because it has iron in it. The Gerber one for True. so if for girl kids. has if girl has really heavy periods and like she's doing meal prep or something like that around like time of you know her menstrual cycle, I'd recommend cream of rice. That is the one Gerber thing. One. Isn't too much iron a bad thing for us? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hundred percent. So, yes. so that's why I had to stop eating it because when I switched coaches from Kevin to um goobs. To Russell, no, Russell's Russell's the shithead who stole from me. When I switched from Kevin to Russell, Russell was like, dude, you, you have a lot of iron in your diet from eating that much Gerber cream of rice. Yeah. Um, so I had to switch to the orange box, Too much of which at that bad. time was still Uncle Ben's until they fucking decided Uncle that wasn't ben. Oh, yeah, PC. Them, Uncle yeah, ben. they took him off. They took that black eye off. Oh, man. I wonder why. Because it's not PC, bro. But a black eye on a box is bad. And Aunt Jemima. Shout out Aunt Jemima. My favorite fucking She's not on there anymore. She's not on anymore. Why not? Because Because it's not PC, bro. You can't put her on the... Because she doesn't own the company. And they can't profit from her face being on the company. Quaker Oats is still on there. And he's a white guy. With a fucking wig. Yeah. Yeah. Quaker Oats is the man. Shout out Quaker Oats. That's your your man? I like Quaker Oats. Oh, yeah. I like the fucking great nah, value brand. No, because yeah, yeah, shit. Same. One thing that Pride Foods, like, prides themselves in, no pun intended, uh, this guy. is having, like, low iron in their cream of rice because they say even the orange box has a shitload of it in it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it oh, does. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, compared optimal. to... Yeah, and that's what theirs has, like, basically, like, none in it. So that's the same thing with Flavor Gang, I'm pretty sure. They have no yeah. iron. Well, yeah. Flavor Gang uses just literally ground up rice and artificial sweetener. Why are you shaking? I don't know, bro. I drank that Pepsi, and then he was talking all that fucking bullshit, so I got upset. <laughs> oh, he's still upset. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. <laughs> yeah, y'all got so mad. I didn't get mad. I, I was chilling. Boy, bro. No, you weren't. I was definitely chilling. I was spitting you were facts not over here. So was I. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I feel good because I know I was we'll spitting Take that facts. mic and shove it up your ass. You're going to hear the sound of your small wow. intestines. Wow. Shit. Wow. What's that from? That's from Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Step Brothers. That yeah. sounds he lovely. He says, you keep your liver spotted hands off my mother. She's a saint. All right, so if we take into account cost, micronutrients, protein to fat ratio, chicken is the best in, in taste, no, obviously. Not. Chicken micronutrients is, is not. I'm saying if you put them all into one. What into one? He's saying if every you put, category. If you put taste, micronutrients, cost, no. and protein to fat ground ratio. I would say ground beef. What's the best one? Ground beef. Red meat. Why? No. Because it has the most nutrients in it. No, if you're talking, he's, you got to pick oh, something because cost effectiveness. Ground beef yeah, is ground the most beef. cost effective red beef. meat. No, I'm saying... Uh. He's saying if you add them all You're together. You're saying all of it together. Cost effectiveness, micronutrient profile, taste, me- like everything, efficiency. Yeah. That would be ground beef over chicken because chicken does not have a good micronutrient profile compared to ground beef. And I, they're relatively the same in price. No, they are not. Yeah, no are. fucking shot. Yo, chicken Chicken's is- up to $5 a pound. I want, fuck that. Before it was $1.99 a pound. Okay, well, we ain't talking before. We talking now, bro. Well, how much well, is ground well, even, beef? I mean, it's not really a... Ground beef's like five dollars a pound, six dollars a pound now. It's the same cost as chicken, almost. dude. It, it literally chicken is nah, just chicken. Chicken's cheaper though. No, I think. But it's not more. anymore. It's really not. Chicken's higher. Two ninety, two ninety four. There's more demand for chicken. Two ninety four. It was one ninety nine. And plus, it's easier to grow chicken. Yeah, yeah. it's easier because it's a smaller animal. You grow chickens. You, you fucking never grew an animal before. Is you nutrition really that serious? Before? You ever see it grow? Chickens out the ground. Yeah, I grow them all I never said out the ground. I just said grow I got chickens. red chickens in my backyard. <laughs> all right. So. No, nah, I, I, I don't think it is. I think it's ground beef. What do you? How? No, no, I'm not saying that I don't think it's ground beef. I said is nutrition like like that serious? Yeah. Yes. Are you kidding me? Especially, especially I, for. I think Mason's playing like <laughs> fucking <laughs> devil's <laughs> advocate. No, Mason's trying to get me pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Mason just wants me to get upset, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> it makes it good, man. I and mean, you got to think uh, about it. Let, well, it, like I said, though, it's, I don't it's think it's con- a hard question. Context though. matters, though. What are we talking about here? We're you just said efficiency about- of everything. So right, everything. So, well, dude, yeah, but if you're bringing micronutrients into it, which would be everything, then chicken just is automatically out of the question. But I guarantee you would even have to choose a white fish over chicken because white fish has more omegas. So there's my argument right there. You're, you sitting, can't with two even nutrition, say you're sitting with two nutrition nerds right now, and he's mean. I'm not as mean. Well, I'm thinking like, <laughs> I, I'm thinking about if you could get the same micronutrients from red meat in a in a supplement that is bioavailable, like you always say. Okay. Vitamins and are just as expensive, though, when it comes down to buying Well, that. that's what I'm saying. You'd have to do the math and shit and calculate would it be more to just buy fucking red ground beef? Or would it be cheaper to do chicken and then the fucking supplements? No, because if the beef costs the same as chicken, therefore the beef is already better. They're not the same, though. How simplistic is nutrition? Do they mean? don't. They, when I buy fucking... I don't know what, where y'all are shopping. When I buy chicken, I'm two ninety four a pound for chicken. Okay. Ground beef is like 5 to $6 a pound, Ain't no which is double. These boys bro, going to Publix, bro. At, These boys going Walmart. to Publix over here. Are you shopping here. at Elon's house right now? Walmart, like? bro. <laughs> Dude, there ain't no way that chicken's two ninety four a pound. At Walmart, yeah. It was $1.99. Chicken, chicken. Bro, that's bullshit. It's like $4 a Chicken's pound. Chicken's like $4, Where five dollars a pound. Where? Everywhere. Not at Walmart. What kind of chicken brand are you? Much? You sure you're getting chicken? Per- yeah. Oh, Everybody God. Chicken breast. Oh, jeez. how much is chicken? Here we go. Had to do this. Whatever number she gives average. you is going to be fucking... It's going to be average cost. I'll look it up right now. Well, All right, what's the... Walmart what is we go. What, you got some shit to talk, boy? Mace, you better come Mace, over here and asked, talk that shit. You asked a, a question. <laughs> what was your question? I said, isn't nutrition very simplistic? In what regard? I mean, in reality, nutrition is you <laughs> You know what's good and you know what's bad. Each person is going to be different, though, and you have to learn that person. But, I mean, at the end of the day, there's just good food and bad food. What's bad? I'm about to say, do you what's think there bad? actually is like, good and bro, bad food? No. I fucking, this is what, all right. Fast I don't think there's bad, bad food. I think that I'm the habits. I'm going to freak out. I think I that the fast habit. food's pretty bad, right? No, I don't no. think that there's any inherently bad food. I think the habits behind food are bad. No, no. So no. somebody cannot control the amount amount of fast food they eat they cannot control the amount of junk that they eat then that's where the fuckery begins yeah i know i'm saying like fast food is definitely bad compared to just like a chick like something like no I, doubt but it's not I think that's what i'm saying you have to say but we can't say it's bad because you have to you also say okay the poison it's the not dose. as utilized does that make sense my no. body's gonna use that food just as much to grow muscle and do those things it's just not gonna be as beneficial to my long term I don't believe health. that yeah. it's all about calories alright I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go eat five fast mi- food <laughs> meals a day but or you also, I'm gonna go eat chicken and rice five times dude, a day I think I'm gonna get a lot of different results bro you're the poison's the, in the dose but you're you're missing the point of like what 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 it breaks down to is like the amount of calories you need to eat there's a certain amount of calories you need to eat, and within those calories, you got to break it down into the nutrients you need. Your body needs, so it's protein, carbs, and fats, right? So if you you can, the quality isn't there, and the nutrients aren't as like good as organic or whatever fucking shit. But at the end of the day, your body processes it the same as it does with the look at somebody. Good foods. Look at somebody like JPG. Dude. I'll give him credit. Look at somebody like JPG. That man does not eat chicken and rice or bodybuilding type food whatsoever yeah. the only fucking meal i've ever seen him make for bodybuilding type food is that steak and rice meal but he puts all types of shit in it that just kind of takes away from it being clean food he puts soy sauce all this different shit in it he's usually eating like processed ramen things that fit his macros yeah. he takes yeah. a, he takes a if it fits your macros approach to bodybuilding yeah and i'm not gonna lie he has a great physique for him because he because he knows his body correct but it, he correct knows- so what Correct, that? but that doesn't mean the food Correct. is bad. Correct. Really? Understands the now, if we take an obese person, we put them on five fast food meals a day. You're gonna tell me bro, that ain't bad? Come on, bro. Dude, what are we doing here? Mason, you are Jeez. literally just pulling like hypothetical <laughs> situations out your ass right now, bro. <laughs> like it's so dumb. <laughs> How is that dumb? You, obese. Because you go don't... from one point to the next every time that I fucking debunk one of your <laughs> dumb ass fucking points. <laughs> How is it dumb, bro? It's know. just a question. Right, I'm so trying so to learn as eat, well. If you eat five meals of chicken and rice, and if you eat five Big Macs a day. Still, yeah. I'm a fucking coach. You understand that I'm not telling people to eat five Big Macs a day, but we cannot go blatantly say that food is bad. Yeah, that's a yeah, fucking... Yeah, I know that. 
You, you can't you can fucking get fat, say it. You know you can get fat off of chicken and rice, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like very, fat. you can get fat off of vegetables and rice. Doing it right now. I could get fat as shit <laughs> being a damn vegan. The thing is, the thing is, it boils down to calories. And if you're consume, if you're over consuming calories to the point where your body doesn't utilize it, it gets stored away as fat. So fucking obese people, and also I just think culture. about the skin, the hair, the nails, things like that. If I'm eating, if I'm eating the same amount of calories with fast food, but I'm eating, or I'm eating the like nutritional food with same calories, both I, my skin, my hair, my nails are gonna look a lot better if I'm fucking doing like yeah, chicken rice and shit like that. Yeah, that's different. That's different. Correct. About- it depends but what are we on, talking on about what now? the goal is. I know what you you're said saying. Long term health at first, I, bro. Though no, I never said anything about long term health. I, don't think I was just asking that. about nutrition. I was just saying food nutrition. inherently I was good just, or bad. Just that would mean I'm that it's contributing to our long term health. And that's how, I'm just trying to learn more about nutrition. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, all right, we have the same amount of calories, fast food, boom, and then we go eat chicken rice. Both are the same it, amount of calories. I think I'm gonna look a lot better eating this than that. Let me play same devil's advocate. Let me play same okay, calories. I'm gonna look a lot healthier. Since different. you've been playing devil's advocate the whole fucking time, I'm gonna play devil's advocate with you real quick, bro. But I want to be all devil's the fucking chicken, all the fucking chicken, all the fucking beef that you get, no matter where the fuck you get it from. If you're not going to a local ass farm and getting that shit where it's farm raised and it's not getting some type of hormone, then you're fucked already, bro. Yeah. No. Not yes, because no. when it. All compared right. to fast food, dude, what? It's the same beef, though, sometimes. You don't know where that beef comes from, or you get it from Walmart, right? Bro, the way Walmart. they cook it, bro. They it cook it in, with like, cooking. grease it has to do with and, like, shit like that, but that's man. that's calories. Come on. The, oils, the oil is calories. Come on, The guys. fucking seed oils, it's bro. Seed oil. We're, they're killing us, bro, the seed oils. I don't know where this conversation is <laughs> going now. No, I only, I only do this because I'm trying to learn more as well, so I'm getting more out of you guys. That's what I'm trying yeah, to do. Absolutely. And see, so, I don't know if you guys are realizing that, but that's what I'm doing, so... And I and I know he's over here saying, you know what I mean, like yeah. So, but no, nah, that's all I'm trying to do. But I was just wondering. I just well, I the just thing is, if you do like five chicken and rice meals compared to like five Big Macs, like the macros, but, that, but the same calories, the macros are going to be different though. So it's like if you're but not the same amount enough, of calories. No, no, but, but you can't about, fit that. You can't fit. No, that. I'm saying, I'm saying, if we have the same amount of calories and, and macros. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying just ca- you're talking about all calories right. in versus Mason, calorie out. Mason doesn't know this. Do you know what makes up calories? A, co- a calorie. Yeah, macronutrients, carbs, okay. fats, so, protein. Perfect. I'm so, not really that dumb. I'm not saying you're dumb. I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I know a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what you're saying is Big Macs and chicken and rice. Same macro, same calories? No, I'm saying the same amount of calories okay. per day. If I'm eating this fast the, food, whatever it is, it don't matter how many times I'm eating it a day, versus however many calories of this I'm getting, calories. The calories are exactly the same. Okay. No matter how many times I'm eating, I'm going to look a lot better if I'm eating this way. Okay. But you have to take into account the nutrients you're getting from each meal. If you're hitting the nutrients on the head for both, the outcome will probably be the same. All right, let's let's do an example with with not 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 for your hair, skin, and nails. But that's different than. Oh. I'm saying for health, bro. <laughs> I'm saying for health, bro. Now he's trying to piss us off. I don't know if he and is. I'm, no, I'm not. I play Ben. Bro, literally, come on, guys. I'm, I'm not. The person here is nails. <laughs> no, no. Let's compare to. But even chicken and chicken and rice is fucking terrible for your hair, skin, and nails. Even for more omegas. I'll put it and this more way. things that have more iron in it Look, than chicken fucking rice. So I have. Both, I have more I cheat meals. A, chicken, I have I'm more cheat meals a meals. day. I have more cheat meals a day in this bulk with this coach than I did my previous coach. My previous coach, I was doing more drugs and eating more clean food, and I looked worse on that bulk than I did this previous bulk, where I had more dirty food and less drugs. It's about the calories. There we go. So it does. I not feel like you've gotten a lot, like, like you, like you said, you've gotten a little bit more chubbier, correct? That's, that's from the, the calories. Yeah, I know, but th- that I could I don't get chubby that's like off a, of eating chicken and rice. I know, but like, how does that? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Because it comes down to it goes calories, then macronutrients, which are actually the same thing, and then mm-hmm. it becomes quality of food. Micro. It's always about qual- It's all always about calories first, then quality. But what does it mean by you saying you look better? Are you saying like you're just like you just look better? My like- physique is better this bulk. It looks better with less gear. My peak bulk when I was even still lean, I'm getting fat now because I'm not blasting. Like gear. your skin's better. Your your everything's better. Everything about this last blast was a hundred percent better. My skin was terrible on the last blast because I was doing more gear. 
because your your body has to release that. That, that so all so you don't have any like back knee or any of that stuff. I have some not nearly as bad as I did when I was on my last bulk. Hear me out. I'm all I'm saying is it did not matter how clean I was eating at the end of the day. It mattered about me hitting my goals, calories, macros and being able to efficiently fuel my body. No, I get it. Now obviously if I'm eating fucking McDonald's 6 to 7 meals a day, that's going to fucking present a problem. No, I get it. I get but it. But there's no such thing as inherently bad food. I'm having no, three I, cheats a, a week and I'm and I'm it my body I utilize dense calories better because my body doesn't like f- copious amounts of food like good. that. So when I have three cheats like this a week, I get bigger, stronger. I actually when I have a cheat the next day, I'll weigh lighter. Really? I don't ever go up. I only go up and weight the day after. So everybody's different, like you said, but you can't just flat out be like, okay, the food is bad. All right, but the habits behind the food are bad. If you ate fucking 7,000 calories of chicken and rice a day, your habits behind chicken and rice would be bad. Like if you ate chicken and rice like you did that that calorie challenge, Dude. let's say you were obese and you could eat that much food a day, you did that every day, it would not fucking matter. You'd still be unhealthy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, th- I just think with with the fast food though, a lot of people sleep on digestion. So like obviously digestion gut, but is that's going gut to be, health. You know what I mean? But yeah, but now we're just talking about like now we're just going n- down a totally n- different n- lane. I was you know just I mean? talking about overall health. N- so what do you mean by overall health, dude? How many specify. damn times do I got to say it? Digestion, hair, skin, and nails, your everything. Not just oh, I look good. So what about longevity? I got more so, muscle? So then longevity, then right? You would include uh, no. That. I don't really think longevity. I'm just saying looking that's, good for uh, that's overall right, health. I'm saying long. overall health to look my fucking best right now. I don't give a fuck what I look like in 60 so then years. It doesn't matter what quality of food you have. It, do, it just matters about the quality. Okay, well, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to do an experiment. Oh, I'm going to go eat fast food four, four times a day, and I'm going to have the same amount of calories, and then I'm going to go eat something You else. need to count your macronutrients. Motherfucker, though. you used to be the motherfucker posting fucking Snapchats of you eating damn candy bars in the middle of your workout. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Yo. Jeez, You would man. have the Reese's and the Snickers and be like, oh, which one should I eat? <laughs> Damn, you remember that? That's yes. lit. That was a good one, bro. I like that one. Yeah, suck my balls. Bro, guys, look, guys. I was not trying to bust anybody's balls. I just, I just that's, busted yours. That's, that's how that's how I get stuff out of people, man. You got to get them a little riled up to get the good. And that's how I just did. I got some good information out of you guys. Suck my fucking right That I didn't know anything right about, now, man. And I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you You're too, You're very knowledgeable. Bro. Thank you. I don't know. I just, like... Me personally, if I have any fast food, if I go out to eat or I have anything that like sushi I don't, Saturday, boys, sushi Saturday, sushi Saturday, you can come to Let's go, right. bro. After we get that, then I go crazy. The next day, I will feel like shit. Well, no, nah, we gotta get a talk off. We gotta go talk off after. How many calories? Yeah, you're, you're counting for calories. If we're if we're going all out, we're probably gonna have like eight thousand. That's why you feel like shit. Because again, at the end of the day, it's all about calories, and if you overconsume, you will feel like shit hey, Bubba. almost all the time. Yeah, on Come anything, here, right? Come on. Yeah, I Come mean, on. not even. I mean, even if I didn't overconsume necessarily, I think you'd usually be you'd be you'd be perfectly fine if you hit your macronutrients on the head. You'd actually feel fine, unless you had some GI tract issues, which is completely separate from that. Well, I'm not. I'm saying just in terms of how I feel after I eat fast food, I just don't feel good. Do you? But here's the thing: you ever have you ever eaten fast food and account for the amount of calories and nutrients are in it? And actually be very hold on. Yeah. Uh but like actually I, remember I used to be on my My Fitness Pal shit like crazy. Yeah. I had three fucking Ooh, what I have? Three what are they called? The fucking breakfast sandwiches. Uh, uh McMuffins. McMuffins or some yeah. three of them. And they were seven fifty for all three. Seven hundred and fifty calories for three yeah, of them. Yeah, but what are the nutrients in them too? I mean, it was a decent, like, breakdown. You can uh, get away with eating fast food sometimes. Like, obviously, eating fast food, the quality isn't there, and there's more seed oils and stuff like that that cause more inflammation, which is, like, a whole separate thing. But, well, like, like, when it you, comes you're to saying, breaking it No, down, no, no, I'm saying, you're, you're saying, like, a separate thing. But, like, the, right. the separate thing is what is making me feel like shit. What's the separate thing? What are you talking about? Like you're the, the one who said food? The, you said the separate thing. You're talking about sushi. Sushi's pretty fucking good. It's just raw fish and rice. 
It's just like chicken and rice. It's no different. Well, sushi I will <laughs> overconsume, and that that's the reason I feel like shit and bloated because I overconsumed it. Yeah. But I'm saying if I have like a fucking Big Mac, which is not that many, it's, I mean it's, it's calories, but it's not that many calories, and I still ate the, the same amount of calories throughout the day, I would feel like shit. Okay. Me personally. Yeah, that, that's a personal thing. Like, yeah. I, I would think most people would, though. Yeah, like, that's a... I, just, mean, I mean, even when I first started eating better, I used to eat, like, shit every single day when I was 16. And then when I improved my diet, everything in my life changed. Like, my work ethic, my fucking, like, how I felt day to day, everything. More people need to eat like that. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. That's just me personally. But I, I do... Un, I, I, agree you know I, mean? like, I agree with everything. Yeah, I agree with your shit. You could feel like shit... Eating chicken, ri- over consuming chicken rice all the time. Yeah, you know like yeah. I did on the fucking 10k challenge. Yeah, you felt like I was. I was like, so at no the way end of the day, so at the end of the day, is it calories in and calories out? That's it. Greg Doucette. Yeah, is yes. that it? It yeah. don't matter. It's just calories in, calories out. Yeah, they, is that they, it? The one dude do the fucking Twinkie study. You see that shit with the proper? Yeah, he but ate then, Twinkies. Yeah, but he ate only Twinkies in fucking lost. You weight. have to also consider then Watch after that ass. micro micronutrients. God, yeah, no. micronutrients are what. Your fucking calcium, magnesium, zinc, fucking B12. B12. Ooh, yeah. give me that, bro. Like all, your <laughs> amino, all your amino acids and shit We're like that. We're always saying shit in unison. Yes. So there's like it's the fish, awesome. There, those, the awesome. Those, that's, why, that's why a lot of, uh, I don't know if you can attest to this, but like when you're in a steep cut, you feel the worst because how are you fucking you getting You better your be calories? taking your damn vitamins you when you're on prep, bro. Because that's you dead feel like serious. shit or, you're or micronutrient tr- deficient. Tr- so Take like you fucking these nutrients are these micronutrients help with all these fucking hormone fucking control and your hormone control hormone flowing in your body. Yeah, you do shit. need some hormone flows. You Dude, fucking my brain pussy. Fucking you got hurts. a little period, don't you? What? You little flowing hormone guy. Oh yeah, we're heavy flow. Eat your. He's got heavy flow or whatever. I don't. I don't take vitamins. I just take chewable trend. Yes, sir. I take. I take action. Nah, nah. That has. Yes, that has. Like serious question to people watching because they want to know like what to take. What supplements do you think are like necessary to take that you're not getting in your diet that you need to take? I would say the biggest one would be calcium and vitamin D because we don't get enough sun. I think. I think. Okay. Magnesium. Here, I, I, uh, Magnesium is a good one. I would do it in order though. Because I think vitamin D is dependent on certain people because I'm vitamin D, D deficient and I know others who aren't. And if they overdose in vi- vitamin D, they would it would be very harmful to their body. In, in what a, way? In a negative but way. But the like, amount of d- vitamin D you would have to take to fucking overdose? You can you, Not overdose. I'm talking about overconsumption of it where it's leaving your body. Like, if I take a thousand IUs. No, no, it probably wouldn't do exa- anything. That's what I'm saying. Though. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. So, But I think magnesium because our food quality has gone down the past 20 years like pcos wasn't a thing 20 years ago so magnesium 100 percent. i think uh i think actually a fish oil would be next on that list and, vit- and then vitamin heart D. health and omega-3 calcium. but well if you think about our food quality nowadays we're talking about food quality is like we eat the, or a, a traditional american diet is a very high inflammatory food Dude. and it has a lot of um fucking omega omega oh shit omega nines or omega nines Omega omega six. Bad ones. Nine, Jesus Christ! Is it, I thought it was ones. six. And the ratio has to be right. No, omega six is the good. No, it's omega right. three is the good. Omega is the good one. Six is bad. Oh, six. Omega six, six is from Jesus meats, Christ. right? We have omega nine or in, our, in our diets. Omega. We have an omega, and it has to be a ratio between omega six and and that omega. And what what's happening is that we're eating so many high inflammatory foods that our bodies are like fucking reacting very poorly, which is why seed oils are a bad thing, yada yada. When it's like in reality is it's not that they're bad. It's that the consumption and the rate people are eating them and the convenience of getting them is so easy that people are just eating too much of it. So therefore, I'm not saying take fucking omega you you know, take your fucking fish oil and you'll feel better. It's just like reduce the amount um that you're eating and then take that and kinda helps combat that. That's another um, thing with the the fish oil thing because fish oil the main point of you're getting omega threes right yeah but you can just buy omega threes yeah so that's what I get personally it's the same thing though it's yeah, a, yeah it's the same thing yeah. you know I'm, I just get the omega threes yeah. uh, but me? I I think we're I think we're leaving out vitamin B12 and calcium because a lot of people are very vitamin B deficient. This is your energy. Mm -hmm. I would venture to say most of the reason why people are fucking tired all the time is because they don't have enough vitamin B. I think Or enough caffeine. Make sure you're fucking... (laughs) Yeah, there's so much caffeine. I made a post about... That was a mix a day, baby. I made a post about that and how caffeine is actually fucking terrible for you. Oh, really? Is nicotine bad? Dude, 
the amount, no, 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 the amounts of caffeine. <laughs> I think caffeine is like a great. If you're an athlete, I think like whey, like the top three supplements you should take is creatine, whey protein, and caffeine. But if you take too much caffeine, it's gonna throw your shit off to the point where you're fucking shutting down the system that tells you you're tired all the time, so you'll never feel tired, and you're gonna spike your cortisol. You're never gonna actually release human growth hormone from it, to your in your secreting your muscles so that you can actually see gains. That's a big problem. It's not even more about the gains, dude. Well, just, just the, the growth hormone, re- the minor bit of growth hormone release that you Let's get from fucking shit like that. But if you're trying to, if can you're I finish trying to my sentence? The minor growth hormone release that you get from shit like that has nothing to do compared to the amount of like recovery contributes to it. So well, I would say, yeah, right, I right, would right. say the caffeine fucking with your sleep has a way more negative effect than, than the growth hormone effect what, that you're what, not getting. But what I'm trying, to, what I'm trying to say is, what does sleep do? No, I'm so serious, because, okay. like, what literally is- last year, like, I would fucking take pre-workout after my class, and my class got done at, like, four 420 or so. Could not sleep after, could you? Bro, I would take pre-workout, go to the gym, fucking wasn't sleeping. Yeah. Stop doing pre-workout. I would have caffeine, like, throughout the day. I would cut it off at, like, 12 o'clock, and I would take a stim-free at 4. Yeah. Fucking went to sleep Great. 10, 10, 8, 10 o'clock every night. I was sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Fucking and because it's a long day, you're tired, too. But what does sleep, yeah. what does sleep help help reduce? Stress, inflammation. Which is cortisol. Yeah, you know, no cortisol doubt. Cortisol help. I, I'm not, I'm not just trying to harp I just hate when people hormone. are like, oh, my God, train legs, it releases growth hormone. I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm I like, motherfucker. The amount, trace the amount of growth hormone. Get, yeah, yeah, the yeah, trace yeah. amounts of growth hormone that you release when you when you are not under stress or when things of that happen, it does not matter as much as recovery calories and training. I just mentioned that during, during the sleep phase, because I want to stress how much, how important sleep actually is for muscle recovery and all just fucking your mental health as well. I would say the growth hormone is more of an important factor for it, even contributing to your sleep because growth hormone will make, make you sleepy when you (laughs) release that initial IGF one. When I took my first shot of growth hormone, two, Boxes ago, mm. I'm not on growth now. But when I took <laughs> when I took it, uh, dude, I slept. When I was on growth, my sleep was, huh, bro. I was sleeping like I was a teenager yeah. again, bro. You know what I mean? Like when you're a teenager, you can sleep. Like when you're 13, 14, you can literally sleep. sleep until you're. You didn't sleep in when you were younger, bro. Dude, I've never slept. That he's like a swan, no, I'm bro. Serious. He's literally like, a swan, d- dude. Be serious. No, I'm actually being serious, well, dude. I can't Holy tell sometimes because the whole time you've been being a jackass. How was I being a jackass? <laughs> Real <laughs> talk. Literally, all I've been doing Real is talk. just talking. You, did you like never sleep in like that as a kid? Like thirteen. I mean, 14? probably a couple times. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. But no, no, no. so like. That that ho- fucking growth hormone shit is that like why the people on TikTok are like train legs it increases your testosterone? Is yeah, that, no, that, that shit that, doesn't happen. It's bullshit, right? Yes, it's bullshit. Training just, everything just increases. It's not bullshit your fucking because you might get a legs. minor like minor increase in testosterone hey. and IGF one levels, but hey. it's not going to be like, oh, dude, you got so much bigger. You started training <laughs> legs, dude. Holy <laughs> shit! Like, holy fuck, that, your biceps. What is it, Alistair? What do we say? What we train legs because we ain't no. Bitches. Yeah. That's I what we I said. Didn't, I know, no, to say either. I just filled it in. Yeah. <laughs> that's the equivalent, that's the equivalent of saying, like, sun your nuts because you're released testosterone. It's the same thing. It's like, fucking don't, well, one, that's actually dumber. Do, train legs, but don't sun your nuts. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd be sunning my nuts in a tanning bed. I have to. Oh, hell yeah. I like that's that not the sun. Out. That's the artificial sun, the fake sun. I like, I think tanning's good, man. You think it's optimal? Yeah. I think it's optimal to get I massive think- amounts of bitches to be, you know, your tanner. <laughs> True. But in terms of my, my skin, like, I literally went for the first time on Monday. Did you get And burnt? I can already tell my fucking skin, like, I'm breaking out more. Really? Huh. Which is terrible. That tanning? sucks, bro. My From skin, my I get tan as fuck. That was the first time I went, like, in, like... No, it's because the artificial light and dude, you gotta think you got motherfuckers laying in that shit all day. You, they might clean no, that I shit. Stand bro, up, but it ain't. I stand up. I stand up. All right, but the, the stand up one's lit. Dude, oh, I really gotta poop. Can we do the minutes. outro? Uh, yeah, a hey, outro. Oh, you need to leave? No, I gotta poop. All right, that's fine. <laughs> no, like I can hold it for like five minutes. No, we go five we, to we ten got, minutes. We got, we got two, two and a half minutes, but. It was a good pod. Yeah, I think bro. it was all over the place talking about dinosaurs. I think it was probably great. the funniest one that we've had. Yeah, Absolutely. We had Absolutely. some good conversations. I mean, I feel like I had a great conversation. I think one thing we need to work on, though, in the future is not interrupting each other. That is very important because yes. when I do the clips as well, like I notice it. It gets hard. It's hard to, like, 
make clips out of this shit when everybody's t- not like, especially with four people, but even like us sometimes. I'll be talking. Fuck, you did not just do that, bro. I literally bro, heard I it. Dead ass had I to heard do it. Oh that shit. <laughs> and he just pulled it out. He just pulled it out. That was a good one. <laughs> I can't hear y'all. I can't hear y'all, bro. You can't hear? No, I can hear you. Oh, shit. All right, oh, well. My hamstring. Yeah, well, Ruben. yeah, we got to get better at that. So we'll <laughs> I think it was pretty good, though. I don't think we interrupted too much. I mean, I know he interrupted me a ton just after I was spitting my well, facts. Dude, you, no, you just got me <laughs> fucking heated, dude. <laughs> spitting your facts. Shut the fuck. <laughs> guys, it's all love for me, guys. You That's, know, you know how I rock. Yeah, this has been a good. One. It's almost <laughs> fucking probably like an hour and a half. That was fucking lit, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I loved it. Love you, dude. It's been your boy, love you, brother. It's been your boy Ben. Yes, sir. Right here, bro. Mr. Ali Star, Mazda, and Swan. Mazda. Code, I love that. Code Chicken on Young Law, Echo Vision, Hela Mix, everything. Code. Code A list on you performance need to, subs. You need to change that shit to code optimal. I do. Yeah, 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 tell, your sure. man's, tell your man's. No, I can code change optimal. it on my on my on my athlete yeah, dashboard. Yeah, actually, you know what? Code so optimal right on performance subs. Yeah, and then code sh- optimal. And then change and I'm gonna go change it right now. It right what, if now. what if you got like a thousand sales right now? Like, It'd be so <laughs> lit. Honestly, if you, if you need any, if you need any, yeah, you forgot to change it. Somebody like, else already had that. I would be so pleased. If you need any fishing rods, cast nets, or anything like that, use code Swan at Dick Sporting Goods. Yeah. Yes, code sir. code Mazda on the uh, grass-fed ground beef. There we go. Chicken rice potter. We're out. Peace, Peace out.